Welcome back to another video guys. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys can be a part of my giveaways and be notified of new videos. Also, comment on what stock you guys want as my first thousand dollar stock giveaway. So I'm thinking Neo or Nano Dimension or maybe even Palantir now, but I'm not really sure yet. So let me know what you guys want. Also, if you like the video, don't be afraid to hit that like button either now or when the video is over. So before we get started, I want to make sure you guys know that I'm not a professional. And this video is for entertainment purposes only. I do do my research and I do a lot of research and look for stocks with a lot of potential for you guys. But you should always make your own decisions and do your own research, especially when investing your own money. If you're investing based off of YouTube videos, it's never going to work. So just take this for a, with a grain of salt. Alright, so yesterday we talked about three stocks. Palantir, Xpeng, and Nano Dimension. So they all dip pretty significantly, but we expected this with everything that's going on with these stocks. So Nano Dimension dropped about 7% yesterday, which we expected since they did another direct offering, bringing their total to about $1.5 billion in direct offerings over the past three months. So if you didn't watch my last video, these direct offerings give us a really good opportunity to buy in. If we look at our chart here for NNDM, we can see that it dipped every single time they did a direct offering and then it always bounced higher. Anytime a company does a direct offering, it's almost always going to dip the stock price to the direct offering amount. And most companies do do direct offerings with rising stock prices, so it's not anything to be worried about. But a good stock like Nano Dimension is always going to bounce up from these dips. Nano Dimension has jumped off of these direct offering dips and have gone on to make higher highs every single time. So this is basically a perfect dip buying spot and it will almost 100% go back to where it was, if not higher. A little disclaimer, I personally did buy 1000 shares yesterday and am going to be holding these shares at least until the $18 mark and then I'm going to be taking some profit off the table. I see very little downside to the stock and it's really popular stock and a lot of people are bullish on it, which is good since a lot of volume will be traded. It should honestly be able to make up the dip pretty quickly like it has every single time with these direct offerings. And if you guys follow ARK Invest, they did sell off about 1.5 million shares between February 1st and February 9th, but they still have 10 million shares so I don't think this is anything to be worried about. They bought in really cheap, so they're probably just taking some profit off the table as well. I don't think they're going to be selling any more shares until we see the stock jump up from this direct offering dip. So, I mean, it's going to be—it's pretty safe to buy in right now. Alright, so let's talk about Palantir since that's why you guys are probably here anyways. So, Palantir stock got absolutely crushed yesterday from their earnings report. And if we look at the chart here, it's basically a red line straight down. It went down 12%, which is honestly more than I was expecting with the bad earnings report, but it's not crazy considering how much volume is traded with this stock. And if you watched my video yesterday, I said it could go either way with the earnings report and that it'd be a coin flip. But I did say if they did get a bad earnings report that it's going to give us a good opportunity to buy in since the stock has gotten overextended by a significant amount. So they reported a revenue of $331 million with an expected amount of $300 million and the revenue in 2020 grew by 47%. So you're probably wondering, well, if they beat out revenue, why did the stock come crashing down? Well, with a lot of stocks, especially tech stocks like Palantir, the stock price gets inflated based on speculation. Look at Tesla, for example. Tesla isn't trading based on earnings or revenue. It's trading based on high speculation of how it's going to perform over the next couple years, which is why it's pumped up so high. Same thing happened here with Palantir. But the thing is, Palantir is only expecting a 30% revenue increase in 2021, which is still a lot for any company, but it's short of speculation compared to the stock price. So 90% of Palantir's income is from government contracts, mainly from the U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force, and very little is from commercial businesses. Their commercial revenue only grew 4% last year, which is really small. The thing is, if they can perform well for these commercial companies, more and more companies will start using their services. Their government contracts will always be there in my opinion, so with the addition of more companies using their services, their revenue honestly could explode. 
Not to mention with other government agencies using Poundtree's data as well, not just the US government, there's a lot of potential here. I mean, there's no business better than one where you get paid by any government's unlimited resources. So to me, this is just the beginning for Palantir. They did just get an IBM contract last quarter and are in talks with AT&T, so they are making moves in the right direction to get more businesses on board. So I think 2021 could be a big year for them. And although they're only expecting a 30% increase in revenue, I think it could be much higher if they just land a couple more commercial contracts. I think once a few companies jump on it, it'll basically trigger a lot of other companies to jump into their services too. So I do see a lot of upside for Palantir in the future, and with this dip from earnings, it makes it extremely enticing to jump in. I've liked this stock for a while now, and I've literally been waiting for it to come down so I can jump in. I mean, Palantir was trading around $45 at one point, which was way above expectations and speculation, which is why it started to come crashing down. And with the bad earnings report, it basically put the cherry on top to send it down to where it's supposed to be. But now that the stock is back to a reasonable price, this gives us a good time to jump in, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing. There was no way I was buying in at $45, but $27 is a good price to jump in. I don't see much downside if we get in at $27, and I see a lot of potential upside from $27. And ARK event... ARK Invest doesn't see much downside either since they just bought 1.5 million shares yesterday of Palantir on this dip, which is about $50 million, so it's a pretty sizable investment by them. And they've also never sold a single share of Palantir. Even when it hit $45, they never sold, so my guess is they're seeing a lot of upside with Palantir too. I just want to be clear that I don't buy or sell based on ARK Invest, but I do like to see if we're on the same page. It's kind of like if you like a restaurant and your friend likes it too, then there's a better chance that the restaurant is pretty good, right? Same thing here. I just I just like to see what they're trading. I don't trade based on what they do. I just like to follow what they're doing. One thing I do want you guys to be careful about with Palantir stock though is that the lockup period is over this week, which means original investors and shareholders are going to be able to sell their stock this week, so this could trigger another dip in the stock price. No one knows who's going to be selling out, but a lot of times lockups trigger a pretty significant drop in stock price. So if you want to get in, I think buy in pieces. Buy a little now and then buy more after the lockup period is over. And I think at $45, all original investors would have been selling out. But since it's down to $27, I don't think as many investors are going to be selling out as they would have. And I think a lot of people will probably hold out for future growth. But that's it for this video though, so make sure you guys subscribe because I have another penny stock video I'm announcing later today, and I don't want you guys to miss that one. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.